What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Monday, May 30th, 2022. It's about 4.30 p.m. and 79 Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius. Memorial Day. Although Miami is known for its beaches, what it isn't known for is a Asian community or a Chinatown. And I'm gonna show you an area in the North Miami, North Miami Beach uh, area where there's a sizable Asian community. I'm at 167th Street at Northeast 6th Avenue. And there's a strip mall here with a bunch of Asian businesses. We're gonna go check it out right now. Now the Asian community that do live around here, they're not really uh, centralized in any one location. They kind of live all over the place. But along here, 167th Street and 163rd Street, there are a few uh, strip malls with Chinese restaurants, grocery stores. And I think there's also a sizable Jewish community here too because uh, there's a kosher market right over there. But this area that I'm gonna show you is the, uh, the Chinese supermarket, iFresh. They're actually from New York and also Mi Tea. I've tried the uh, Mi Tea before, it's pretty authentic. Me tea also, uh, I've tried them before in New York City and all we, over here. Hard to get authentic bubble tea here in South Florida. And over here is Mulan Spa and Salon. I just got my hair cut here actually and uh, they told me they are from New York City. They uh, established here seven years ago from Flushing, Queens. But they've got very good service and I was satisfied with my haircut. And they also told me that before the pandemic, they were planning to turn this area into a larger Chinatown, as you can see from the renderings um, on the wall here. They really ground it to a halt but they were playing to have a gate and everything. That's me. Sorry to bother you. Hey, you what's up? Very nice. I moved from New York myself, so when wow. I saw you come out here, I was That's like, That's so Holy cool. Cow. Wow. Great to meet you, man. Great to meet you, too. I don't too much of your time. Yeah, yeah. You, well, Hello, YouTube, if that's you. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm making a video here now of uh, I never thought I'd actually 167th. Yeah. <laughs> first time coming in. I know. This is my pretty much my first time here, too, so. Chinese uh, barbecue and Cajun I seafood. I do too. Yeah. Hopefully this the gap for you, yeah. Yeah. You know this hair salon here is from Flushing. They told me. I just got my hair cut from there. Looking good. Yeah. Good. Thanks. All right. Here's a uh, Chinese barbecue and Cajun seafood. I actually got a uh, roast pork with rice with vegetables. It was about 11 bucks. And it was pretty good. But let's go into the iFresh market. Hard to believe that there is a uh, Chinese grocery store here in Miami. But it is very clean, well laid out. They've got all your essentials. I don't even know where they get all these products because uh, they must have to import them from overseas, some of them. Like uh, 
this Hami melon here and the Korean um, pears here. No, this is Thai guava. And um, there's also all these Asian vegetables which are hard to get in uh, local supermarkets here. Chinese kale, yu choy. Also a uh, sizable seafood collection. And what's great about this place is the prices are really reasonable. Sweet potato leaf, napa cabbage. Well, they actually put this in the wrong section. Oh wait, they uh, they put it at zero. So they probably could have just moved that sign somewhere else. Bok choy, both regular and Shanghai style. This is a great price for a Chinese cabbage. 69 cents a pound. And the butcher section. Looks like pork rib cubes and pork meat are on sale. But let's just walk through the aisles here, see how fully stocked their, uh, their sauces are and everything. All right, they've got a Korean barbecue sauce, pretty much uh, almost every single kind of soy sauce you could ask for. All different companies too. They even got like black pepper sauce, shrimp sauce, which it's hard to find in uh, local grocery stores like Publix in South Florida. I think the real test of uh, how much stuff they have is to go through their candy section because there you'll probably find candies from all over um, Asia. Different types of tofu, soft, silken, firm, extra firm. Oh, their noodle section. Look, look at all these different types of noodles. Rice noodles, egg noodles. Here's their uh, candy section. They even have biscuits too. Garlic toast. I've never even had that before. <laughs> Wonder how it tastes like. All right, well, that is pretty much the tour of iFresh Supermarket. They even got dried foods. Here's uh, different beers that they got, Singdao, uh, Japanese beers, wow. I don't even see these in uh, the Asian supermarkets in New York City.
Now I think they wanted to do some more stuff over here, turn this into like a bigger food court. But uh, it looks like many of these stalls are for rents. This one says for rents. Some of these places said they were coming soon, but not really. Sichuan spicy coming soon. The only vendor is this Chinese barbecue place. Well, let's walk along 167th and 163rd Street some more. I'll show you. I'll show you some more of this community. I really like the red lanterns. It is threatening to rain a little bit. There are some rain clouds, so let's see if I could finish this video before that happens. They have a pretty sizable parking lot. I wouldn't exactly call this area walkable because it is located on a busy uh, strip. Most people here really just drive to this supermarket and get what they need to do. You know what shocks me right now? The price of gas at this station. $5.49 a gallon. And I think the national average is around $4.70 a gallon now. So this is um, way more expensive than the national average. I would have to say that this community is pretty scattered and mixed. I think this office building is completely for lease.
There's so many different businesses here. Over to my left, another strip mall, barber shop, salon, a nail salon, and there's also the Aldi um, food market. Aldi is the food market where uh, you pretty much have to do your own uh, boxing because they don't unpack the produce from the boxes and the packaging material, so you just have to carry it as is but in that way they have lower prices Oh, there's a pizzeria here, Jerusalem Pizza. Sounds like a kosher pizzeria. I think it will be a good time for me to cross the street now. This gas station is four dollars and thirty-five cents a gallon. Meanwhile, the Chevron was $5.49. Radical price difference.
LA, it's really popular. I can tell you already, Chick-fil-A is more popular than Chipotle in this strip mall. This is where this main road curves and continues going on 163rd Street. There's a lot of bugs out here. I don't know what kind of bugs they are, but they're pretty annoying. Might be gnats or something. There's another gas station that's more reasonable than that Chevron. Feeling some rain droplets now, so hopefully it doesn't continue to something bigger. I do have an umbrella just in case. Let's see what the line is at Popeye's compared to Chick-fil-A, both in the fried chicken business. Yeah, Popeye's has a line too. I 
I don't think there's a button for me to press in order to cross the street. Nope. Guess I'm just gonna have to cross. As you can see, this is why there really isn't a Chinatown, quote unquote, in the Miami area. It's very scattered. And you really have to uh, stretch it in order to really fit the definition of a Chinatown. Because from one business to another, it's not really uh, walkable. Himalayan spa here. $45 gel manicure and pedicure at Waxy O Logic. I'm not sure if you can even see these bugs on the video, but they're pretty dense. Actually kind of annoying to deal with now because they keep sticking on my shirt and my hair and my face. And uh, yeah, perhaps the weight of the, these bugs are unbalancing my camera too. I think there was one that went into my ear now. Goodness gracious.
So uh, after this block, Northeast 12th Avenue, there are a few more Asian uh, restaurants and businesses. Across the street, we have the mall at 163rd Street. It's a decent sized uh, shopping mall. And I know a lot of the buses uh, serve this uh, area too. There's a uh, bamboo banquet hall, but I'm not really sure what's going on here. Maybe the side entrance is open, but the front definitely isn't. Or maybe it is, maybe it's just the, the gates that are rolled down, but the main entrance over here is open. Now over here, CY Chinese restaurant. I have heard from people here that this is the best Sichuanese, Sichuanese restaurant in South Florida. I have not tried it, but they specialize in spicy foods and hot pot. Asian massage. I've actually used this place several times and they're really thorough. Brazilian bakery. Mary Ann Bakery. It might be Chinese bakery because uh, I see the Chinese characters on here. They're closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Well, this is a predicament. Here's another kosher market. That's a propeller plane. You don't see many of 
those anymore. Colombian restaurant. There's also a Walmart inside this uh, mall too. So if I keep continuing on 163rd Street, I'll hit a neighborhood called the Sunny Isles Beach. It's a city in Miami-Dade County. a lot of bugs here. I actually want to cross the street here. There's a dim sum restaurant not too far away from here, which I've tried before and it's pretty good.
bus number three, which I actually took to get here from downtown Miami. go into the strip mall, the village center, and see what's going on here. Beauty supply store. I believe there's also a Korean restaurant in here somewhere. The Miami Korean Kitchen. From what I've been told, this uh, Korean restaurant is pretty good. Patagonia Cafe. The gold father instead of godfather, gold buyer. Here it is, the Miami Korean Kitchen. And even at this time, this place is packed. The dim sum restaurant I want to show you is uh, on the following block. Scrubs and beyond, so they do everything for the medical industry. Fashionable scrubs, I like it. Vision works.
batteries and bulbs. Looks like they're pretty extensive. They even fix phones too. Local bike shop. A lot of motorbikes in there. Hopefully I can make this light before it turns. Actually, that dim sum restaurant is uh, further than I thought. It's the next uh, block. But this is cool. Chungheng Oriental Market. Let's uh, see what's in here. Well, it looks like they have uh, teapots, woks, healthcare supplies. Chinese convenience store. Lots of kitchen supplies too. Good to know in case I'm ever in need of a uh, of new kitchenware. Be waiting a while here. So many good things in life are worth waiting for. Oh, this is sad to see. A memorial for someone who passed away, Lindsay D. Araliga.
think I'll walk in the middle here. So we're finally here, the dim sum restaurant I was telling you all about. I've also featured it on Action Kid Extra. His car's reversing on either side. But if you want to see what the food is like in here, in Sang's Chinese restaurant, then uh, check out my other channel, Action Kit Extra. The dim sum I got was pretty good. That spooked me. What I'd like, what I'd actually like to do now is to make a left and walk towards the water. And once in there, I think I'll wrap this up. I think you all kind of get the idea of what this um, place is like. Kind of businesses scattered here and there, but there is a small Asian community. Here's a large uh, massage place. Over here, this is more of the walkable area. We've got a small group of waterfowl.
All right, folks. Well, I'm going to wrap up my video here. I want to thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to show you North Miami, North Miami Beach, and the Asian community around here. But please smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time.